The book I'm looking at today is called Make Fascinators, 18 Fascinator Projects That You Can Make at Home by Anne Morse Brown. Now, Anne Morse Brown is the wife of Guy Morse Brown, who makes Guy Morse Brown hat box. And she was a milliner as well. So we're going to, now this is published by Hat Talk, Hat Talk magazine. And this was first published in 2012. Now, as with all these, I will be uh, giving you all the details in the description of the ISBN number, where you can get the books from, etc. And that gives a nice table of contents. And it talks about um, what are fascinators and you don't have to have a sewing machine to make them. And she goes into a bit of de detail about camouflaging hens and raw edges and etc. So she also talks about the equipment you'll need for these projects. And to be honest, it's it's quite comprehensive. And the good thing is you don't really need blocks. So these are done without, without blocks. Um, and then she talks about the materials. So... She's talking about cinema and feathers and tiaras, etc. Bias binding, all the things I'm always talking about in my videos. And she gives basic techniques for sewing cinema. So quite handy, starting and finishing stitches. Um, and what I like about this book is there are lots of large, easy to see illustrations and she's got some um, detail about what the illustration's about next to it. So she does a lot about, oh, I'm the pages, a lot about sewing and binding edges. And then she shows you the project, project, projects. So she gives you the materials required and everything you need to make it. And again, nice, simple, clear, um, illustrations showing you how to finish it off and giving you other ideas at the end this one's fixed with a comb she also shows you how to make cinema lilies um, uh, one of the staples I think for hats making cinema lilies and again good clear instructions a hackle spray so that's made with a ready-made mount of hackle feathers. So she talks, she's bought a hackle spray and she says there's very little work needed to turn it into a stunning fascinator. So she gives you some ideas and then she shows it at the end. And again, Lily's on a quill. So again, she's used Lily's but used them in a different way. A twisted base fascinator. So what she's done here is um, shown you some techniques using the cinema and making a bias strip, which you've seen me do countless times. So and wiring, and she's wiring on the sewing machine like I often do. So she's made a nice sort of whirly shape. Tulle flower, so she's using fabric for this, tulle netting. To make a little flower and she's using goose biots and showing some quite interesting uh, techniques with goose biots where you can knot them. So that's that one. And again a feather one with cinema. Um, cinema saucer and again she's made this without the need for a block so she's used a plate as a template and that's quite nice and now she talks about the feather pad that she's used to make it bias strip and feather fascinator again more bias cinema showing you what to do and how to put it together So it says small pieces and bias strips. So she's used some small bits. Um, 
I think onto the uh, base that she made earlier. Yeah, so she's just showing you little bits that you can make to you. Because oh, we always end up with lots of little oddments in the in the uh, box. Rolled edge petal fascinator. And again, she talks about um, rolling the edges again. And what she does is actually tape her fingers up because it is hard on the fingers. Now she dips her edges in water, I don't, but again, it's if it works for you. So there she is rolling cinema. And again, a cinema rose with rolled edge leaves. Two triangles. So she's made two triangles and uh, wired them and then obviously put a decoration on and then get knotted. So what she's done here is used satin bias tape, which she's used as her decoration and to make it interesting. So there we are, more pictures. Curls and roses. Oh, the three legged base. So, again, she's looking at doing um, unusual shape here, and she's using spring steel or aircraft modeling wire. I've never looked at aircraft modeling wire, but I may. May have to investigate that. So again, another freeform shape in the edged. Now it talks about the author on the back and a married married to guy. And she founded and was course director of the Wombourne School of Millinery, which ran from 2000 to 2007. And she also set up and ran Hat Talk, the monthly magazine. She retired in 2010, but Hat Talk magazine is still going and highly recommend it. Now, the um, suggested price, the retail price is $24.95, but you can get it at a lower price. Now, what I would say about this book is it's nice and clear. The projects are clear to see, easy to follow, but it is for either a beginner or, or uh, someone who's just starting out really on their millinery journey. It doesn't give you anything too complicated and it doesn't use hat blocks. So if you're starting out and you, and you haven't got lots of money to spend on um, materials, this is definitely a good book if you want to make fascinators. Now, she doesn't tell you about making hats. It is just fascinators. But as I said, you'll see all the details. It's a nice heavy book and it's nicely printed. It's good quality, although it's a paperback. It's a good quality with a glossy cover. So, yeah. So there we are. That's Make Fascinators. And the book details are Make Fascinators by Anne Morse Brown, date published 2012. And the publisher is Hat Talk Publishing. And the ISB number is here. Now, you can buy this brand new. Sometimes you can find uh, a secondhand copy online. Uh, just have a search and I'm sure you'll find it. Thanks a lot.